Hi, this is Gary Kreft. And I'm Chris Scott, and we're with Kreft & Scott Homes here in Austin, Texas. And we're here today to answer the question, should I buy a new or an existing home? You know, that's a great question, Chris, but I think before we can actually dive into determining whether a new home or an existing home is right for you, we actually need to ask a lot more questions. Mm. Yeah, because I would imagine that it's very circumstance specific. It's not like you can say, well, if you want this, 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 and this, you should buy a new home. Or if you want this, 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 and this, right. you should buy an existing home. I think there's more to it, and you really, like you said, have to take a step back. Yep. What types of questions should we be thinking Oof. about? So the biggest one is lifestyle. Mm. What is your lifestyle? What is the lifestyle that you want in this new home and then in the new neighborhood and in the new market place that you're moving to. So determining what that lifestyle is and really defining lifestyle is mm. what about drive time to different places like perhaps work, uh, grocery stores, um, drive times to religious practice locations, um, drive times to schools. Boy, that opens up a whole mm. other bag of, bag of worms right oh, there. Oh yeah, I know that. You know, schools. How important are schools to you? Is it important that your children, if you have any, are going to a public school? Is it important that they go to a private school? And with public schools, how important is it to you that they have the highest ratings? It's, mm -hmm. it's a really in-depth investigation into what's truly important to you and your family and the lifestyle that you desire. So what I'm hearing you say, Gary, is first we gotta understand where in Austin do we want to live, right? Exactly. Because based on where we want to live, the options, it's not like every option is everywhere, right? Depending on what's available in that area. And then from there, let's assume I've narrowed it down, mm -hmm. all right? What other types of questions might I ask once I've narrowed it down to, let's say I've decided I want to live in the Westlake area. Right? Sure, At, then you dive into what is your current buying power? In other words, what is your budget? Because if you're buying a brand new home versus an existing home, you're likely spending more money for the same size of home or you're spending the same amount of money for a smaller home. Gotcha. So you really need to investigate that. In addition to that, you need to ask yourself, if I buy an existing home, then am I open to remodeling? Hmm. That's a whole other opportunity because when you remodel, you can actually create the experience that you want similar to buying a new home. Well, you also create value and more equity in your home when you right. make that type of investment as well. Yes, so the, as you can see, this is not an easy question to answer. And the very best way to answer this question is to have a 30 to 45 minute phone consultation with us so we can ask you the questions to open up your mind to determine what is right for you. So if they want to schedule that consultation, what do they do, Gary? All you need to do is message us and we'll get it taken care of. <laughs>